All right, time to go over to the kitchen and uh, talk to West Step back from Red Sky Cafe in Duck, North Carolina. I bet the Red Sky Cafe is probably what a lot of folks in Duck would say is their spot, their it's, hangout. It's their, their local spot, and if you guys would ever come down, everyone would say, Carrie, as Gary. soon as you walk through the door. I told you, I'm going to get back out in the bar scene in about 10 years. Well, <laughs> come, come, come with us and eat first, and then no, you yes, fill right. up your stomach before you go to the, the different bars. Oh, it's on the list. It is. What are you making today? Uh, today we're going to do a little uh, pan-seared mahi with uh, brie cheese. I got some raspberries, strawberries, and figs. I got figs. some crab meat, figs. Like not dried up figs? Not dried up figs, just like little fresh little round figs huh. which just came off the tree. Uh, and we got over here, we've got some all curry tuck vegetables. I'm going to make a gazpacho. Somebody was telling me, he said, why don't you make a soup? So I said, I'll make a chilled soup. Yeah, I was going to say gazpacho is a cold. It's cold. Is yes. it, now, does the name come from cold or like the fact that there are tomatoes in it? What does gazpacho mean? Spanish, you know, it just means tomatoes, cold. Okay. It's nice. Who knows? There's our international moment for the day. <laughs> All right, we're going to get started on our recipe in just a moment. Ariel. All right, we got a plate of goodies, and Chef West Step is ready to whip it up into something wonderful back from the Red Sky Cafe in Duck, North Carolina, making a gazpacho, that chilled tomato soup. Yes, ma'am. And the mahi. Yes. Um, actually, what we're going to do real quick is throw the gazpacho together. I got everything prepped up. Uh -huh. Vegetables come from Curry Tuck. Uh, we try to utilize fresh local ingredients down there. We got jumbo lump crab meat from Madame Mesquite. That's mm -hmm. going to be kind of a garnish on top of it. This is really easy, especially compared to what we usually do on this show. Okay. Um, this little pico, Vidalia onions, a little bit of cilantro, a lot of that fresh tomatoes in there. Mm -hmm. A little bit more red onion just for the color and a little bite. Mm -hmm. Red pepper. Now, are you going to blend this all up or leave it just the way it is? No, I'm going to leave it chunky. Okay corn, cucumber. It always helps if you got all this stuff diced up. And you know, you probably could make some little, uh, say if you don't like cucumber, you want to throw celery or something in there. Can you do that? Yes, you can do anything you want. That's the one, that's the joy of cooking. You know, mm -hmm. it's like I can give you a recipe and then if you like basil, you can put basil in there. I use cilantro, uh -huh. kosher salt, cracked pepper. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of Tabasco. A little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of Worcestershire. Yeah. And just a little bit that's of V8. All. And that's, that's all. it. And then you're going to let it chill. Can I stir it up? Oh, please. Knock okay. it out, darling. I just want to. <laughs> I don't know. Now, what else we're going to make today is I've got some crusty Italian bread, French bread. What I'm going to do is I made some raspberries, some figs, and some strawberries. And I just tossed them in a little bit of olive oil. Uh -huh. And I'm going to top it off the bread. Today's kind of a light eating day, you know what yep. I mean? It's summer, everyone's down on the Outer Banks. We're doing a lot of chefs on calls this time of year. You know, normally yes. we're talking about all our catering with weddings and stuff. Well, in July and August, there's big families coming down there and duck is swelled, you know what I mean? It's, yes. It's, uh, everyone would know you and duck in no time at all. You, Ariel, the whole group. Mm -hmm. um, there's about four restaurants, four or five restaurants there in duck. We're right in the center. And um, basically, we're going to a lot of houses and doing what we call Chef's on Call. So basically, I'm just hitting this. I'm going to do it with a little bit of goat cheese. And then I'm going to broil that in the oven for about five minutes. Okay. And that's it? That's done? That's soup? Well, that's soup. And that is very refreshing and cool. And then what we're going to do is on the next segment, we're going to take this same soup. And it's soup and sauce. We're going to make a sauce out of it, so it'll be I real light. I mean, you light. can stick a corn chip in there, and it's like you a can, salsa. It, exactly right. But it's, today it's soup. Today it's soup. And it's not done until there's an onion flour on it. By God. <laughs> there you go, darling. We know you too well. You do. All right, so we did our gazpacho and a little bit of like a berry bruschetta, would you call it that? Berry, figs, strawberries, goat cheese, real simple. And what I'm going to do is, like I said, finish it off in the broiler for about, you know, about three minutes. You want to keep an eye on it or you'll burn it. Okay. Yeah, the broiling's no joke. The broiling's no joke. Can't walk no away joke. from that. Can't walk away. All right. Well, you stay here. Yes, ma'am. Watch the broiling. Uh, and we're going to get to Arion in a second. We come back, we'll cook our mahi. Arion? All right. Pete is already getting a head start reading our latest book club book, Calico Joe by John Grisham. Chris Reckling, who will be joining us by the end of the week. He's having a little vacation. I suspect he may be down on the Outer Banks. All right. Can't say for sure, but maybe. But he's going to lead the discussion on uh, the baseball book that he said was actually a love story. So we'll have to see about that. 
There you go. Good one to tuck into your beach bag as you head down to Duck, North Carolina. And then when you're tired and hungry from sitting on the beach all day, head up to the Red Sky Cafe. Let Chef West Up cook you something. Maybe a little bit of gazpacho that we made in the first segment. And the bruschetta's come out of the oven. That looks great. Yeah, it does look good. And then to now we're going to do some mahi-mahi, okay. which they're catching off the hook down there. Um, Oregon Inlet, Pirate's Cove, you know, go on the offshore fishing trips. Yeah. My Captain Dickie Harris is excellent and uh, went out with him, caught some mahi-mahi. Now, they also, on the menu down there, you might see it as dolphin. It's not flipper, it's dolphin the fish. Okay, okay. so sometimes they call it dolphin down there. Sometimes right. it's mahi-mahi. Um, but I it's the same thing. I appreciate you bringing fillets this time, unlike last time where you brought the whole uh, you know fish what? and threw it on the counter like some kind of Viking. And Two times I've done that up. to you. I know. I know. I'm not going to do it again. Well, maybe I will. Um, but basically, I got it really cut kind of thin. Mm -hmm. Pan's really hot, though. Pan is very hot. I call it, I'm calling this dish Dolphin Derek. Okay, Derek is a friend of mine. He's a restaurateur down there, and he okay. went under the knife last week. So we're wishing him to get a better. Speedy recovery. Speedy recovery. I don't think it was plastic surgery. I think it was actually something he needed to do. Well, you know. And one thing about Duck is I wanted to tell you is Duck is a real, it's a really great town. It's a village, okay? Yeah. So you could park anywhere and walk all around Duck. You can visit the different restaurants and different locations. Mm -hmm. And Duck is a real leaning forward township. There's a beautiful walkway that, that spans the whole sound, goes around all the shops and everything. Mm -hmm. And every Thursday they do a huge concert, maybe featuring different kinds of music, right in the town square, which is directly across from Red Sky. So you can go listen to music and you can come back and have something to eat at one mm -hmm. of the restaurants right there. And um, anyway, there's just a lot to do. You don't ever have to leave. Look at that. It's got a little grill marks on there. I so cut it nice and thin. This is not one we're searing here and finishing in the oven because it's thin enough. It's going to cook right through in the pan. It's going to cook right through. Now, what I'm doing is, is one thing about it is I like a little bit of cheese this year or this time of year. Mm -hmm. We're doing just a little bit of brie on top of it. Nobody does fish and cheese together like you do. No. Mm -mm. God, everything is good with cheese or bacon. <laughs> And a little bit of cilantro. Mm -hmm. and we know that. you're not. We know you're not finished because it's not nearly tall enough. It's not nearly tall enough. <laughs> okay, we took our gazpacho, right? Yes. And basically, it was a soup last segment. This segment is going to be a sauce. I'm just going to lay it down. Really nice and fresh. So mm -hmm. if you've been out on the beach all day. The water's been great. The beaches are great down there. You wouldn't know because you haven't been down Quiet. there. Uh, unless there's a big news story, then Carrie will come directly down. I've been down to the Outer Banks. Good. And we will put that right down. Basically, all I'm doing is waiting for the cheese to melt on top. Now, talk, talk strategy with me here. You threw the lid over it all. Is that kind of steaming it a little? Are we in middle school, Arion, oh Stephanie? Gosh. Really? Arion, Like you please. dropped your cafeteria <laughs> tray. It was just tongues, people. You got, you got a five-second rule in all restaurants <laughs> known to man, okay? So anyway, basically, uh, yeah, I'm just covering it just to let the cheese melt. It traps the heat in there. If I was cooking this out on a grill, I always cover my grill. I like to keep my grill really hot. A lot of okay. people leave the top wide open, and they're going, what's up? They don't know anything. They don't know anything. They're they like, don't know anything, those people. Like Chris, really <laughs> tough griller. So look at that. The fish is done. Uh-huh. Mm. Right across the Perfect. top. The uh, also the steam in there from the from the lid being on it cooks some of the juices out of our citrus. Mm-hmm. Fresh, light, got the bread with the fresh fruit, the figs, the uh, raspberries, which you've never had an undried fig. I have and it. um a little bit of the jumbo lump crab meat, which is chilled. Mm -hmm. Everything just complements the season, really, mm -hmm. basically. All right, so not only is this how uh, Chef Westup does things in the restaurant, the Red Sky Cafe, but I mean, you could like, wow, put that right out on somebody's house. That's go exactly right. We go, we're doing a lot. This next week, we're every night we're doing chefs on calls where we go to the people's houses. It's like Butler's Night Out. Mm -hmm. Invite us over, let us cook. Mm -hmm. What's the? What do you like most about that? You know what, I like to get to know the families. Um, yeah. They're really at ease because they don't have, you know you know how it is having small children and going mm -hmm. out to dinner when it's really packed. It can mm -hmm. be a pain. Everyone's at ease. Everyone loves to have you in. They like to ask you questions about the Outer Banks. How is it living in the winter? Right. You know, just right. things. You know, when you go on vacation, you'd always love to live there and you want to, what's up yeah. with when not everybody's here? What's it like to really live there? That's and then right. you say, oh, there are secrets I could tell you, but I'd have to kill you. But right? I'd have to kill you. <laughs> That's true.
All right, well, we're going to give this a try in just a few minutes. In the meantime, if you would like to visit the Red Sky Cafe, it's open every day, lunch, dinner, cocktails, 1197 Duck Road, which is the only road, pretty much. It's That's main it. drag here in Duck, North Carolina. For more information, www.redskycafe.com. You can call 252-261-8646. Just a day trip away and uh, make an evening out of it. Wes brought up that uh, the Thursday concert series, yes. the music and the nice walkway shop and have something to eat and call it a day. Thank you.